Hey sixth graders! So today I am going to film for you the experiment we've been working on seeing osmosis in vegetables. Seeing ha what happens with a carrot stick and a celery stick when it's put in tap water compared to being put into water with salt in it. Salt is the solute, water is the solvent, and we'll see where there's a higher concentration of water molecules in the solution or in the carrot stick or the celery cells. So I have the supplies here that we were using in class and I have carrot sticks, sorry, celery sticks and carrot sticks and I have labeled what solution they will go into. Notice that it's the solution it's gonna go into and it will stay in there for 24 hours, maybe longer. Um, and I have it organized on this paper towel so that I don't get things mixed up. So we need to do some observations before we put it into the solutions. So our observations for the carrot sticks are that they're both really firm so far. And they're, this one looks a little dried out, this one not so much. And the measurements, so this is why I have my ruler here, uh, the measurements in centimeters is for the carrot stick here, we can see it's about four and a half centimeters, maybe 4.75 centimeters. That's the carrot going into the tap water and the carrot going into the salt water is approximately five centimeters. For the celery sticks, the one that will go into the tap water is approximately 10 centimeters, and the one that will go into the salt water is also approximately 10 centimeters. The celery sticks are both not very bendy, not very flexible. They're pretty firm. Okay, and I'm not playing with this or I'm not I'm bending it as much as I can. Pretty firm. All right, so I have my cups set up. They're labeled. I know it's, can't really see in the background, but they're labeled carrot and tap, celery and tap, carrot and salt, celery and salt. So I'm going to add, this is tap water, I'm going to add tap water to each of the cups. And for the salt solution, I'm just going to add some salt. Oops, a little bit too much water there. For the salt solutions, I will add the salt. And you can really see that it's a solute that uh, will reduce the amount of water molecules. Okay, mixing it around, dropping it in there mixing this around, making sure that the salt solute is getting evenly dispersed. And the top ones, we'll just leave like that. And there we go. So you can see that this is the setup. And we'll let it sit for 24 hours and then make our observations after 24 hours. Okay, so after 24 hours, let's see what happened. Let's see if water molecules went into these cells or out of these cells. And we'll know that water went in if they feel firmer. We'll know that water left if they feel more flexible. So let's start with our carrot sticks. Carrot sticks in salt, carrot sticks in tap. And the carrot stick in the tap water 
is still very firm. It has not gotten any more flexible. Still very firm, still very hard. And if I put a measurement next to it, put it next to the ruler, it is still approximately five centimeters. Okay. For the carrot that was in the salt water, it has definitely become more flexible. It's definitely more bendy. It's definitely softer. And let's check the measurement. The measurement probably has not changed too much. And it still is approximately five centimeters. Okay, if I put it closer, you can see that. For the celery, the celery and tap is still pretty firm. It's as bendy as it is before. If you move the video back, you can see that it's equally as bendy, uh, flexible. So I would say it has not changed in flexibility too much, but it is also still approximately 10 centimeters. For the celery in the salt water, it has had a pretty big change. You can even see it's wiggling when I shake it. It's very flexible. I can bend it almost all the way in half, both directions. And this little tip here has gotten more narrow. It's shrunk a little bit. And if I put it up on the ruler, it's definitely shrunk. It is, uh, although I'm squeezing it a little bit, but definitely that tapered end has made it a bit smaller. I mean, it still is approximately 10 centimeters. Maybe it's lost 0.1 of a centimeter. So you can analyze or summarize that the cells that have lost water have become more flexible, more plasmalized, and the ones that have stayed firm have become more turgid. They are experiencing turgor pressure. So that is the osmosis experiment.